of the Oscars, the loudest New Zealand cheers were probably in Wellington. Crews from production companies involved in The Lord of the Rings got together in the hope the film that worked on would collect its share of Oscars. And they certainly weren't disappointed. It wasn't quite Los Angeles, but it was close. And it had all the trappings of an Oscar ceremony. Around 600 staff from Weta Workshop, Weta Digital and Wingnut Films crammed into a waterfront bar to watch the Oscars. Weta's special effects wizard Richard Taylor had been nominated for two awards, makeup and costume design. I think everyone's a little bit nervous and excited, but um, so many nominations. Really looking forward to seeing our crew on the red carpet. And the Oscar goes to... Nyla Dixon and Richard Taylor for the Lord of the Rings. From a group of people back in Wellington, New Zealand, the Wessel Workshop. For the team back home, it was a magical moment. It's fantastic. I mean, this is, you know, two or three years in a row that he's been nominated for these things. It's just, it's just amazing. The workshop guys put in, they really made the whole film, I think. You know, the costumes and the armor and stuff like that was just amazing. Across town, about 600 people had filed into the Embassy Theatre, which just three months ago was the centre of the entertainment universe when it hosted the world premiere of The Return of the King. Today, for $50 each, they took up the offer of lunch, bubbly and the Oscars on the big screen. And some could barely contain themselves as the Lord of the Rings scooped the pool. Well, I think it's absolutely amazing and I all credit to Peter Jackson and tonight will be a big night for Peter Jackson and his fans Amanda Gillies 3 News